Welcome to week four of Love Life, Love Your Body. Six secrets that will transform your relationship with your body and with life. This week we start to move away from secrets that were just more directly related to food to a broader perspective. As I mentioned in a previous video, I believe that your relationship with food and your body reflects a relationship with life. So this week, I want to share with you the importance of acceptance and gratitude in transforming how you think about your body. I know you want to look better. Maybe you want to lose weight, or maybe you hate your flabby stomach, or the signs of aging that are sneaking up on you. I know. I mean, what is with the wrinkly knees? No one told me about that, Gem. But here's the thing, if you are in a place where you hate your body, if you look in at yourself and all you see are lumps and bumps and bits that you can't stand to look at, how can you expect to make choices that support and nourish your body? If you love your shiny new car, I bet you don't let kids eat ice cream in it. And I bet you make sure you park it under cover, you use quality cleaning products, or maybe you even pay someone to polish it up every week. You look after it because you value it, you love it, and you're proud of it. But if you have a beat up old bomb that's uncomfortable to drive and that you hate the color of, and you wish someone would just steal it, I bet you're hardly going to bother with polishing it or even worrying about keeping it clean. If you can begin to shift your perception of yourself just as you are right now, to a more positive perspective. You will naturally and easily want to provide healthy food and exercise and self-care to nourish your body. Your behavior will be internally driven and thus the motivation is more likely to stick around for the long term. This doesn't mean you give up on losing weight or that you stop wanting to improve your appearance or heal your ill health. It means that until you accept where you are, you cannot move forward. This rule seems to work in all areas of our life. You attract what you focus on. So if you are focusing on how bad your willpower is, you will continue to have no willpower. If you focus on how tired you are, how fat you are, or how embarrassed you feel about yourself, you will continue to hold on to those circumstances that create that feeling. Now I know it can be hard to accept what you don't like, but you are where you are. Hating yourself or denying your problems will not change anything. So how do you stop the negative self-talk? Well, I believe the first step that anyone can do and will form the basis for so much transformation and growth in, in your life is that actively bringing gratitude into your daily life. Now, I know you've probably heard a lot about gratitude in many of the Mind, Body, Spirit magazines or maybe from motivational speakers you've seen on Facebook. And I must admit, I dabbled with a bit of gratitude journaling in years gone by, but it wasn't really until I understood the importance of truly feeling it and the importance of consistency did it start to make a difference. Gratitude is a conscious process. You have to make the conscious choice to change your perspective. Now, this is a quote from Wayne Dyer that became a bit of a go-to mantra for me. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change deep right but actually it isn't just some woohoo feel-good statement quantum physics has proven that matter doesn't exist in a specific form until it is witnessed so you have the power to change what you see so if you want to make change in your life it's up to you and it's your responsibility to change your perspective you have to start focusing on what we do have not what you don't have or you will continue to attract that which you don't want into your life. Now, the best way is to start a gratitude journal. Okay, so for this week, we've got another two pieces of homework on our groovy game plan. The first is gratitude journaling. Now, this is something that you can do in the morning. I do it in the morning because that's what suits me, but a lot of people will prefer the evening. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is that it's consistent where you take the time to write down things that you are grateful for. Now, sometimes you'll have a whole big list of great things that have happened that day. And other days, it might be difficult. I've had days where the best I can do is that dinner was good, the kids aren't sick, and my train was on time, and that's all that I can find. 
But as I do it more consistently, I find that I notice more in my life to be grateful for. And it does really help to get me out of a funk if I'm in a really bad mood or I've had some things that haven't worked out so well, to take the time to remember what is working. The second thing I'd like you to do this week in your groovy game plan is to think about 10 positive things that you could write down right now about your body. Some of you might struggle to do that, but think of what you can and put that down. And maybe in a few weeks after we've finished this series, you might go back and be able to find a few more things. If you really do struggle to find 10 things about your body that you can write down, think about 10 things about yourself, your personality, your character. Maybe you're really strong, maybe you're funny. Write down things that make you feel good about yourself and I know you have a list. So until next week, stay groovy and be grateful.